World War II is often remembered for its dramatic battlefields in Europe and the Pacific, the clandestine world of spies, and the horrors of the Holocaust. But another theater of operations that often goes underappreciated was the Caribbean, where the United States Coast Guard played an instrumental role in maintaining security and stability. This article will delve into the pivotal role the U.S. Coast Guard undertook in Puerto Rico during World War II. Puerto Rico, a strategically located island in the Caribbean, was an important outpost for the United States during the Second World War. Its proximity to the Panama Canal and South America, the shipping lanes vital for the movement of war materials, and its status as a U.S. territory made it a target of interest for Axis powers, especially German U-boat fleets. To prevent any disturbance, the United States Coast Guard USCG, stepped up its game, protecting Puerto Rico and its surrounding seas from potential threats. The U.S. Coast Guard was already well established in Puerto Rico before the war, operating out of San Juan. When the U.S. entered World War II after the attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, the USCG increased its presence and responsibilities in Puerto Rico. Coast Guardsmen performed a wide range of duties, which included patrolling the island's coastal waters, providing convoy escort duties, and conducting anti-submarine warfare operations. Patrols were a key task of the Coast Guard during this time. They conducted these missions with an array of vessels, from small patrol boats to larger cutters. They were constantly on the lookout for enemy submarines and saboteurs that might seek to infiltrate the island or disrupt its vital shipping lanes. The patrols were rigorous and round-the-clock, underscoring the Coast Guard's commitment to maintaining security. The risk was not merely hypothetical. The Kriegsmarine, the navy of Nazi Germany, was particularly active in the Atlantic and the Caribbean, hunting for Allied shipping with its formidable U-boat fleets. Several times during the war, German submarines were reported or suspected near Puerto Rico. The response by the USCG was swift and decisive, deploying vessels and aircraft to hunt the undersea predators. There were numerous engagements, with USCG forces often working in tandem with Navy assets to repel or destroy these threats. In addition to patrolling the waters around Puerto Rico, the Coast Guard was heavily involved in convoy escort duties. This involved accompanying merchant vessels carrying crucial war materials, ensuring their safe transit from the United States to various war fronts across the globe. Given the threat of U-boat attacks, these duties were dangerous but absolutely essential. The Coast Guard's vigilance and hard work helped to ensure the safe passage of countless tons of vital war materials. On land, Coast Guardsmen played a critical role as well. They worked closely with local authorities to bolster the island's defenses and organize training programs to prepare for potential sabotage or invasion. They also took part in humanitarian efforts, aiding the local population with various issues and providing much-needed support. In terms of anti-submarine warfare, the Coast Guard employed both depth charges and hedgehog anti-submarine mortars to deal with potential threats. These weapons proved to be quite effective, keeping enemy submarines at bay and ensuring the security of the waters around Puerto Rico. The Coast Guard's efforts during World War II in Puerto Rico showcased their commitment to protect American interests and maintain peace and security in the region. Their brave men and women worked tirelessly, facing hostile conditions and potential enemy threats. Their actions helped to keep Puerto Rico safe, and their contributions were vital in ensuring that the island remained a secure outpost for the United States during this turbulent period. Their heroism and dedication during these years reflected the Coast Guard's enduring motto, Semper Paratus, always ready.
never thought my heart could be so yearning. Why did I decide to roam? Gonna take a sentimental journey, sentimental journey home. 
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this.